You're just trying to numb the anxiety of what's going on in your work because you're trying to sit there and take care of your future self. You need systems and processes that can basically allow you to get your hands around your business and know what's going on. Why do you think we have so many roofers and roofing business owners in particular depressed and have uh, addictions to you know, alcohol, drugs? I see an epidemic of it. Uh, we work in you know, very good industry, uh, lots of opportunities, but so many unhappy people. Um, you know what? I, I've seen this. Uh, I've seen this quite a bit, being that I own like half own a roofing company back home. I see a lot of this, and there's a certain cultural element of it, right? Um, I think that you know, there's this thing we can say societies to blame because they don't get <laughs> they don't give uh, tradespeople respect, so therefore they don't they don't feel respected. And then they don't respect themselves. That's that's an easy blanket answer to go from a like a, a social aspect of it. But it's also that, and I can only speak to roofing owners in this one. Um, but running a business is hard, and this business can get disorganized. You're if you look at how Walmart tries to control their store, right? They got a hundred thousand square foot store. They got 300 cameras, managers, everybody watching every aspect of the business, the cash register, monitoring the amount of time, cameras on those cash registers. They're monitoring every part of the business. And then you as a roofing company owner and you're in say like around here, like I'm working with a client in St. Cloud, their market is a hundred miles that way and a hundred miles that way in all directions. And now you have to try and manage this whole thing, right? This, this huge, huge space. And you have so much going on. There's so many moving parts because you don't own your labor. Uh, you don't own your labor in many cases. You don't own, and sometimes you don't even own your sales team, right? Your 1099 and your sales team. You know, you're, 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 you don't own the. There's so many moving parts, and what happens is that if you're not organized, you have this like constant thing going on in your head. We're trying to keep it all in your head, and so you need systems and processes that can basically allow you to get your hands around it. And you need to learn how to get your hands around your business and know what's going on. Because if you know what's going on and you have yourself a clear, a clear process where you know we're on the roadmap and someone fell off the roadmap. This person checked this task, this person did this in this CRM, this person checked in over here, we got a net message, this person's estimating this cruise at this stage of the job. When you get when you create a system like that, then you can go, okay, stop. And then you can put it out of your head and you can go home. And if you go home and know that your business is okay, I think that that's gonna decrease the anxiety and that's gonna cause people to not stop resorting to drugs and alcohol and stuff like this and allow them to take time to focus on things like respecting themselves. You know, that social aspect, we can take the time to focus on that. You can read a book, you can spend time with your family, you can, you're, you're not gonna constantly be sacrificing time with your family for work. And then, you know, and not for work, like passion. Like I believe following, I mean, look at me, I've been gone for three months, right, from my home. So I know that I'm spending a lot of time on work. And so, and it causes stress for sure. But I don't resort to like heavy usage of, of drugs and alcohol or any kind of form of escapism because I know that I, I know how to run my business. And so I think that getting that part figured out, um, is how you're going to create that freedom to focus on your own mind, focus on your own health. And that way, you're not going to resort to drugs, alcohol, and other kinds of addictions. And really, it's just escapism. It's just, you're just trying to numb the anxiety of what's going on in your work because you're trying to sit there and take care of your future self. You're trying to make, I'm making these decisions today so I can take care of my future me and make sure my future me is happy. And that, that, that anxiety of what could happen, what might happen, you need to know that another thing I think is finding good mentors, right? Finding people in the industry who can give you that confirmation bias that you're doing it the right way. I have this one guy, we help, we're doing like implementation of the book Traction, like the entrepreneurial operating system. And he's a visionary, helped them find an integrator, doing that whole thing. We did, did this whole project over winter. And there were days where we showed up and literally all I did was we got on Zoom, we reviewed his, his vision traction organizer, we reviewed his uh, people analyzer, and, and, and it was like just more or less me going, yep, good job. Like that, like that is how you can summarize the call. But if you have good mentors, you can get, you can eliminate that, that double, that, that, that questioning of yourself, that double check where you're like, am I doing this right? Am I doing this right? If you find good mentors who will invest time and energy in you and go, 
yep, that's exactly what you're supposed to do. Now just go execute, right? Um, and I don't know if you get that from a book, right? Like extreme ownership and you just, you know, get something from Jocko Willink or if you find someone in the industry, right? I think more people, if they had good relationships with their family, pet dad who ran a business, that would help. But, you know, if you don't have that role model, you got to go find those good mentors. So good mentors, systems and processes, and then finding yourself the time to focus on the social part of it, respecting yourself and taking care of yourself. I stop Adam for a second and grab the book off my table. Guys, this is the book. I'm going to put link below traction. I see Adam has it. He travels it everywhere with it. The best business book you can get. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, if you go to Amazon and type in Roofing Insights, we have the full library of all books we recommend. Link is below, but this one is a must read. Last year, I visited a lot of companies and most successful, they implementing this Apple Roofing, Rapid Roofing, Thing. Most guys, they're doing it well. They actually follow EOS system and traction. Highly recommend, guys. Link is below. You travel. You read it many times. Why you keep traveling with it? Um, you know, because, okay, so the book Good to Great, I think is probably one of the best business books Good ever written, great. right? You have the uh, 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 great, great by, choice. by Choice. Great by Choice. So Good to Great, Built to Last, Great by Choice. Good to Great is one of the best books I've ever read. I've read that book probably 10 times. But that book always left me feeling, like, okay, great. Like I understand how Bethlehem Steel did it and Standard Oil and all these. But it's like, how do I go and implement it? And, and this book is like the handbook to it. It never, it mentions good to great one time. But really it's, when I read it, I was like, this is like a handbook to good to great. And so then for me, I keep it because everywhere I go, every client I go to, it's like a second, it's like a edification of my point. It's like, see, it's in this book. And then I, I help them with it. And every single one of my clients ends up buying this book and reading it. Now they're reading like Rocket Fuel, which is about the visionary integrator relationship. It's, 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 it's my Bible. Guys, okay, so if you enjoyed this interview, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, comment something nice for Adam. Uh, ask a question. Both me and Adam will be coming back to this video, answering questions from the comments. See you guys in the next video.